Ďalší nasleduje Lase Šurman, ktorý nám, ktorý nám povie talk, lightning talk s názvom Code Analysis for something. Aha, OK. Dot star. OK. Uh, I'm going to hold this presentation in English. I have no idea, but I guess I have five minutes. Um, and I'm going to talk about, yes, uh, code analysis for dot star, which is the regular expression for basically everything. Um, so I want to pitch you about this tool, which is named Koala. And I basically spent like four years of my life. In the end, it was almost a full-time, free-time job on writing this, because it's a lot of fun. Uh, so Koala finds code problems and fixes them as well, sometimes. That's essentially like in one sentence summary. But to, to make you understand like what is the real problem that is solved here, like let us take a look at the landscape of static code analysis. And the landscape is there's like a plethora of tools, like so many tools for every language. Take Python. I, I could probably name like 10 tools within the next minute if I want to, but I don't have the time for that. Um, that, that I understand now. Um, so, but even if you find the right tool for the right purpose, you will still not necessarily have the user interfaces you need. Um, and this is kind of a deal breaker. Like, why would you rewrite LibreOffice for every natural language just to have spell checking? But that's what's happening in the static code analysis space, right? Um, so why don't you just put an API in between that? So what we did was we made an API for static code analysis that helps you. Like this is how you can define results, and those results can also have patches appended to them, so you can fix things and you can you can tell people about this is a problem. And then you make it easy to integrate existing tools, and and that's what we did. And then you build user interfaces like. Editor, uh, editor uh, plugins, you build a command line interface, you build a continuous integration binary. We are working on a GitHub extension that automatically revisits your pull request, right? And at a JSON output, you can use it for basically everything. Um, so that's what we did. At the moment, we have code analysis for more than 60 languages. I kind of lost count and I didn't find the script that counts it automatically. Um, but this is like existing. and. I just want to show like how you can use it very, very quickly. Um, essentially, this is how you can configure it. It's a simple any file, because code analysis is not supposed to be configured in JSON or, well, anything where you have to write lots and lots of stuff. Um, basically, you, you, you just want it to run code analysis on a number of files. And for that, you specify what analysis you want to run, which is the bears. The Koala bears are the modules that run the code analysis. And then you tell it, hey, run those bears on those files, and you're done. Um, so we have this website. It's koala.io. Um, you can go there. Uh, you can install Koala. You can use it in Docker, which is also especially great like for GitLab CI. Um, and you will have a lot of examples for your favorite programming languages. Um, so. This is actually how the output looks like. And, and you will see, for example, here that it shows the patch right here, and you can automatically apply it. And like, this is roughly how it goes. Um, it works like a make file. Once you have the configuration, you just run Koala, and you're done. Uh, you can even try it online um, if the server responds. Oh, my internet connection is down, but yeah. Uh, there's actually some other stuff, content here, but you need an internet connection. It's a website. so. Um, I have a goal with every of my talks, and with this talk, I want you to try it out. Uh, I want you to use it, like, at least once. And if you decide, like, this is, this is crap, please tell us about it. This is the most important information for us. Tell us why it is crap. Um, and one thing, which is unrelated to this pro presentation a bit, but please keep your passion about open source, because, like, this is awesome, it's fun, and fun is the thing that we live for and we should live for. Um, there's two other things right at this conference that you can do. I have a talk tomorrow about open source contributor automation where I explain how we grew our community from four contributors to way over 300 in just one year. And you can join the Koala Sprint on Sunday, which is at the uh, tutorial workspace, I think. 
And that's it. That's our domain. That's our Twitter handle. And I'm Lasse, and I have a freelance company. Uh, thanks a lot. Thank <clears throat> you.